rather than a now this this is from an agent that i really respect in the industry it needs to be shared with more people it's a real shame that there are a lot of untrained agents out there passing medicare advantage zero premium as a savings to someone off of medicare supplement when an advantage plan often has higher max out of pockets they're in Georgia, where she is, it's $7,550 max out of pocket. But the agents are saying, it's a savings. You know, put that money in the bank. Just pay zero premium. Everything else is the same. It's an absolute lie. But that's what these agents, they, that's all they know. Uh, max out of pocket, prior authorizations, and doesn't cover 100 days in a skilled nursing facility or 20% of the Part B drugs. What? My agent didn't tell me that. And it's a fine time to figure that out when you need a Part B drug. What are we talking about? You get cancer you, or you have an immunosuppressant drug that you need after a transplant, for instance, or you're doing the oral chemotherapy, which are more and more being moved uh, into Part D. But this is often administered in the doctor's office. So you're getting an infusion of something. Those infusions, Part B drugs, which would normally be Part B, if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan, they'll tell you you're responsible for 20% of the coverage. Wait a minute, how am I responsible for 20% of the coverage if I've got an advantage plan that's supposed to be covering this just like a supplement? It doesn't. Look at the summary of benefits and look very carefully on your plan. Is 100 days covered in a skilled nursing facility on your Medicare Advantage plan? If you don't know that and you signed up for one, you're wrong. You have to know this stuff. What is skilled nursing? That's when you're in an, a continual improving state following an admission to the hospital where you need ongoing treatment to continue to get better. It's not long-term care. It's not custodial care of just monitoring you. It's where you're continuing to see improvement in skilled nursing care. It's covered by original Medicare, no problem. It's covered by your Medicare supplement, no problem. On Medicare Advantage, two things to look for. Is it covered out for 100 days? And if so, what's that gonna cost you? And where's the facility, by the way, if I, need, if I need skilled nursing on this Medicare Advantage plan, what facility can I use? If I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, you're going to tell me that my nearest participating facility for the state on my Medicare Advantage HMO is in Columbia, South Carolina, an hour and a half away. That ain't good for me. And if my mom had to go there and have to drive an hour and a half to see her all the time, that's not good for her either. So this is one of the small caveats that an experienced agent like this one brings about because she went through this personally. This shouldn't be a normal sales pitch. The older someone is, the more likely they'll have a fall and need skilled nursing facility. If someone can financially afford a supplement, you should try to rewrite the supplement if it's too unaffordable is what she's saying. Not say, hey, I can save you $200 a month by moving to this Advantage plan and hide that if they fall off that ladder hanging Christmas lights, that they're going to regret that decision. My biological grandmother was 100% kicked out of a skilled nursing facility at 20 days because, and I won't mention the Advantage Plan company here, they didn't approve any more time. Managed care manages your care, which often comes into pain management and misery if it's not approved. And you need around-the-clock care. If it's not approved, it's not covered. And if you want to go cover it out of your pocket, that's fine, but you're not going to get the Medicare discount because you're not on it. And you're going to have to pay out of pocket, which does not go toward that wonderful, magical thing that all the salesmen say all the time is the best part about Medicare Advantage. It's got a max out of pocket. Yeah, it seems like it's high. You'll never, ever hit that. Put some money in a drawer, in a cookie jar. And if you ever need that once in a lifetime, you're never going to hit that. Guess what? If you are denied care, and you and your family decide that's the care that you need because your doctor says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that just, the managed care plan just won't cover it. And you decide to go, go do it anyway, it does not go towards that max out of pocket. And remember, that max out of pocket resets in 45 days. We come into January 1, boom, it's going to reset again, which means on this plan, you'd be 7,550 plus 7,550. 